Wrapping oddly shaped presents is a pain in the neck. You struggle to get it right, and it still ends up looking like a hot mess. Well, we've got the solution, and it is definitely something you should know. Joining us is lifestyle editor at zoolily.com, Amy Goodman. Welcome to you, Amy. Our staff. Staff is obsessed with this technique, so show us how to do it. Yeah, so all you need is gift wrap, tape, and scissors, things we already have lying yep. around the house, to make your very own customized gift bag. So for my son, who's four, I'm going to give him a football this season, odd-shaped gift. Oh, very. You're going to take your gift wrap and make sure that it just completely covers the item to start. Okay. Then setting the gift aside, you're going to fold to the middle each side, right, with a little bit of overlap in the middle. Okay. Okay. You're going to tape this down from top to bottom. It's okay to have some gaps in there. And by the way, if you're prone to paper cuts, it's okay to I add am. a little lotion to your hands before you start, and this will keep those slices at bay. Now, keeping in mind the width of your item, you're going to fold up the base because we are all about the base, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, look yeah. at you, Clever. So the width, just make sure you make it wide enough so that it's going to fit your item and fold that. Okay. All right. Now, so how familiar are you with origami? Uh, I know. Oh, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm Japanese American, so we're going to channel oh, some of okay. my Asian roots to you. You're going to open up your base, and you're going to fold a little bit of a diagonal. So here we're going to make like a triangle on one side and a triangle on the other. And this actually makes like a square or like a diamond shape, as I like oh, to say, right? Oh, look at you, you smart thing, you. Beautiful. <laughs> Looking good over there. I see your penguins are a little bit slippery. Okay. North and south points Don't fold to okay. the middle. How's that? Okay. Yep. yep. And then after you finish like that, we're going to... like a paper gonna... cut. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to tape that up. I made a paper plane. Perfect. So sort you're going to tape that. And this is, again, this is we're creating our base here. Go for a medium weight paper that's going to be perfect. Too thin, and it'll be really crinkly, too uh, thick, and it's going to be too hard to manipulate. Then we're going to flip this around. When it you're goes doing so this fast. At, when you're doing, well, you're keeping up with me. You're All doing right. awesome. All right. Um, All right. When you're at home, and you're going to have a little bit of extra tape to cut off. Sure you're doing. Yeah, you're doing great. Okay. You're going to have some extra paper to cut off. Just eyeball it. You know, there's no perfect mystery to this. And then we're going to open up. We're going to fluff. Stick your item inside. Oh my God, that is great. Look what we did. How easy is this? Thank you, Amy. You're going to fold over the top. I'm putting this in. Yeah. There we go.